If you want to make money in the stock market, you need to know how money works. To speak more clearly, you need to know how smart money works. What is smart money? It is the capital brought to the market by institutional investors, including central banks, hedge funds, and other knowledgeable financial professionals. They are the ones that shake and move the market, lifting a stock's price or abandoning it to be delisted from the exchange. In contrast, you and I are retail investors. We are non-professional market participants. We bring smaller amounts of money to the market. Some of us are even broke. We want to make as much money as we can with as little money as we have. We are not company insiders to know the profit and loss estimate of a company before it is released to the public. Despite our differences, we can still make money in the stock market. We can benefit from its movements. We can ride its patterns. It all begins with how we monitor a stock's price and what we see when we look at its chart. Do we see chaos? Do we see easily identifiable patterns? Can we predict the path of the price movement at least to a certain degree so that we can earn more than we lose? This video is created with the sole purpose of turning you into a profitable trader. You will be a swing trader not a day trader. You will hold your positions for a few days or weeks to exploit short to medium term price movements and I will give you all the technical abilities to exit the market with a handsome amount of money every trade. This video is loaded with useful information, charts and strategy analysis. At some point I will also give a watch list to work with. So bookmarking this video and having a pen and paper ready to take notes may be a good idea. In addition, you can also subscribe to my channel to watch more videos on money, trading and investing. Let's begin. This video does not do a lot of things. For example, we won't learn how to trade GameStop or AMC. Meme stocks are hot these days due to the resurfacing of Roaring Kitty. You need specific strategies to trade them. Do not follow Roaring Kitty's strategies. He can lose $315 million in one trading session and still have $200 million in his trading account. You may have just started trading, or you may be trading with a small amount of money. You have a lot to lose in the stock market. For that reason, we will not trade GameStop or any meme stocks for swing trading. Secondly, we will not day trade or scalp. I have nothing against day traders or scalpers. In fact, I am one of these people. But for this style of trading, I will have to control myself from taking small profits before they are devoured by the market. I will have to stick to my trading plan and time frame. We will also not take as many trades as we normally would as a scalper or day trader. Third, we will learn only one strategy for swing trading. There are many strategies out there and I am sure some of them are worth looking at. But you do not earn more money by learning more strategies. You earn more money by mastering one strategy to its fullest potential, by eliminating all its ills as you become an experienced trader. Bruce Lee once said, I am not afraid of an opponent who knows how to kick 10,000 ways. I am afraid of an opponent who has practiced one type of kicking 10,000 times and made it perfect. Learning one strategy for one trading style is good enough. If you are a day trader, follow one good strategy. If you are a swing trader, follow one good swing trading strategy. If you are an investor, find a fruitful strategy based on your investor profile and stick to it. Fourth, we won't trade penny stocks. I should say you should not trade penny stocks if you are a beginner. Say you start trading with $1,000. You traded 500 shares of ABC Company, which has enjoyed a wonderful pre-market and has now entered the trading session with 65% up for the day. Millions of shares have been traded in the first five minutes and you were one of the traders. Suddenly the stock starts declining and within an hour it loses all its day's gains and also goes negative. 
losing $250 off a $1,000 account is losing 25% of your total capital. As a day trader, you should not risk more than 2% of your capital, especially if you are new. That means you could lose a maximum of $20 per trade. If you are an experienced trader, you may risk 5% because you know you have a strategy and can handle the loss by winning your next trade. New traders are better off avoiding penny stocks. Lastly, we won't get rich quick with this strategy. This is a strategy that you can scale, but before doing that, you need to understand how it works and whether it is the most fruitful strategy for you. This strategy is designed to offer you a lifelong opportunity to be a profitable trader so that you can gradually build your portfolio and replace your day job, especially if you don't like it. It is also designed to help those with no time to stick to their computer to be a day trader. Now let us talk about what we will do in this video. We will learn only one trading strategy. We will apply that strategy only to a handful of carefully selected mid-cap or large-cap stocks. To find suitable entry and exit points, we will use some indicators. We will make a watch list of stocks that are excellent for this strategy. And finally, we expect no less than 5x returns from each of our trades. If you are new to trading and swing trading, this information will help. Swing trades last from days to weeks. Traders use higher time frames to enter their chosen market. The market structure becomes clearer when you use a higher time frame. Small corrections do not crowd before you, pushing you to act impatiently. With swing trades, you act when you need to, not before that. This also means that you will face relatively higher stop loss. Don't worry, the stop loss will be directly connected to your profit target. According to my experience and that of those engaged in swing trading, swing trading brings you more money than day trading. You may be an exceptional day trader, but that is an exceptional case. How to choose the right stocks for swing trading? We will choose only stocks with over $2 billion in market cap for swing trading. There will be plenty of them, but we will choose only the least volatile. The float of a stock is a contributing factor to volatility. While we choose low float stocks for day trading, we don't like low float stocks for swing trading. Low float stocks may hit our stop loss before we have become profitable, thus taking us out of the market. When I say low float stocks, I mean stocks with under 20 million shares available for trading. Floats do not indicate outstanding stocks. They are two different numbers. You can find out the float and market cap of a stock by going to the Statistics button of stock on Yahoo Finance. Another element of the modern-day market environment that contributes to volatility is speculation. We want to trade stocks that go up because of their underlying solidity as a company and not because of speculation by some self-serving individuals or groups. Speculation can shake a company's foundation and financial future. We don't want to be a part of that uncertainty. We want stocks that move in clear trends. They move in a smooth direction even when they decline in value. Since they are big and stand on solid ground, speculators generally avoid them, letting the market decide their stock price. The stocks we choose for swing trading also trade in high volume every trading session. Having liquidity in the market helps when you want to enter or exit the market. Your orders must be filled to take a position or to take you out of your position. You will buy stocks via limit orders, not market orders. You need lots of shares trading in the market if you want your limit orders to be filled quickly. Preparing the chart. We will use the TradingView web platform to practice our strategy. Go to tradingview.com and open an account. It is free. You cannot use their indicators on your chart without opening an account. Pause the video here and go to the description of this video for the link to TradingView. The chart will come with a default stock. It is Apple. Change the stock by clicking the Find icon 
on the top left corner of the page, find SPOT or Spotify stock, which is one of the stocks that will be on our watch list for this strategy. Now change the time frame to 4 hours by clicking D after the plus button. This is what your chart will look like. We have a little more work to do before the chart is ready for us. Click the candles icon that is right after 4 hours and choose the Heiken Ashi candle pattern from the drop-down menu. Your chart will look much cleaner now. You can also play with one hour time frame or daily time frame to see what time frame you like. But for this lesson here, we will use the four hour time frame. We use Heiken Ashi candles to hide small pullbacks so that we do not get distracted by the market from staying on course to our profit level. This is just one more step to feel less stressed while in a trade. However, Heiken Ashi does not give you the real picture of the market. It packages the market condition to make trading more palatable for the trader. In other words, its job is to hide what we may call small defects to lead us forward smoothly. Beginner traders may greatly benefit from replacing their candle patterns with Heiken Ashi. Now comes the best part, applying indicators to the chart. Using indicators as part of the strategy is only the introduction to the strategy. Sooner or later you will have to get used to trading without an indicator. You will have to be able to look at the chart and understand instantly where the market is headed. At this moment, the indicators will identify specific levels of interest for you. They will identify where buyers and sellers are waiting with loads of money to enter the market and where they want to exit it. Trading is a game between buyers and sellers. Whoever understands the market better wins the game. Applying trading indicators. We will apply two trading indicators to our Spotify chart. The first one is called the reversal indicator. Go to the trading view indicators tab, which is right after the candles tab, and find the reversal indicator by typing its name in the search box. It is created by strategical charts. Once applied, go to its Settings button and remove all options but trend bars from the Style menu. Leave inputs and visibility as they are. The reversal indicator has Bollinger Bands behind it. It marks the candles with high buying-selling pressure, something that suits our strategy. In case you are curious, Bollinger Bands consists of three bands, an upper band, a middle band, and a lower band. The price is always gravitated toward the middle band. That means when the price breaks through the upper or lower band, it wants to reverse the course to get closer to the middle band. The reversal happens because the price faces resistance from the overbought condition above the upper band while it finds support in the oversold condition below the lower band. If you can identify the overbought and oversold territories of a stock, you have gathered enough experience to be a profitable trader. These two territories offer the market a structure, and stocks tend to stay within that structure, unless a big news knocks them out of it. If that happens, you will be stopped by your stop loss. More on that later. The second indicator we will use is the Market Structure Break and Order Block Indicator by Emrec B. As usual, go to the Indicators tab, and apply the indicator to your chart. Once done, go to its settings and remove lines from the style. Leave inputs and visibility as they are. This indicator visually indicates where the orders are sitting to be fulfilled. We have spoken about smart money concepts early in the video. Now this indicator will show us exactly where they are. The orders do not all sit at a specific price, but rather at a specific price range determined by a candle in the past which has been pivotal in reversing the market. If the price of a stock falls from $105 to $100 and lots of money is available at the $100 price point, the price of the stock may not fall below $100. It may still fall from $100 to $99, but due to strong demand for the stock around that price point, the price will rise above $100 
provided the stop buy orders have triggered enormous market orders and the stock does not have enough sellers at the $100 price point. Market orders must be filled instantly. In the absence of enough sellers at the specific price point, the stock may even jump back to $105 and keep climbing until all market orders are fully filled. This is fascinating. This is absolutely fascinating. Some buyers may want to be filled before others, so they might want to buy at $100.50. Some buyers may want to be a little bit relaxed or strict about price and want their orders to be filled at $100. But even if every buyer wants to be filled at $100, they won't be filled. They would be filled as and when sellers are available. Some sellers may want to be filled at $101 instead of $100, so their stop orders will trigger market orders, and they will start looking for floating market buy orders to capture them. Thus, within moments, all market orders are settled within a range. That range is what the box created by this indicator manifests. The top and the bottom lines of the box are important. They mean all stop-loss orders for long trades were filled by the bottom line, and all stop-loss orders for short trades were filled by the top line, thus keeping the market going. Now that you know what happens inside these boxes, you will find this strategy more interesting for your swing trades. Remember, these boxes can sometimes be very thick. That means the stock does not have enough liquidity at that specific price range. In that case, you may have to lower the time frame to see exactly at which point the concentration of orders is higher. However, this is not within the scope of this video. I will make a separate video with an in-depth analysis of how order blocks work. Subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss that video. Now that all the preparations are over, let us see how we can enter the market, manage our trades, and exit the market with a profit. I have gathered all I could think of about using this strategy successfully during a trading session. Begin with checking the daily chart of your stock. Have a feel of where the market is headed. If the chart looks clumsy, do not trade it. If you are happy with the daily chart, turn to the 4-hour chart. If that chart is clean and trending, wait for the right setup to surface. Sometimes you may have to wait days for a trade to show up. Sometimes it never does but do not enter a trade early. What do I mean by a trade to surface? The answer is that the order blocks are there, the market structure is there, and the price is inside the box for a long or short trade. If the price is not inside the box, there is no trade for you. If the price is inside the box, wait for the price to exit the box. If it is a long setup, the candle will be green. But if the setup is for a short trade, the candle must be red. Do not enter a long trade on a red candle and vice versa. Enter the trade only if the distance between supply and demand order blocks offers a 1 to 5 risk to reward. If the blocks are closer than that, do not take a trade. To calculate the reward, you need to calculate your stop loss. Your stop loss will be under the bottom box for long trades and above the upper box for short trades. Why not take a trade that offers a poorer risk-reward ratio? You will lose many trades. If your winners are small, they will not cover your losses. You have to cover your losses plus earn money from your trading. Improve yourself one bit at a time until you can do that. Do not enter a trade halfway between the blocks. The market may go against you quickly. But if you want to do that, you must change the time frame and plan the trade again based on the structure before you. Some of you may like to trade in one hour time frame. That is absolutely possible, but there is a huge possibility that your stop loss will be hit repeatedly and you will take many, many trades. Your winners will also be smaller. If you are an aggressive trader, you may enter trades as soon as the price enters the order blocks. If you have already grown the habit of using hard stop losses, that is great. If you have not, start doing that today. Aggressive traders may make multiple trades within the box to earn a better dollar cost average. They may take bigger positions as the stop losses become smaller to make more money when the market finally turns in their favor. If the green candle or red candle is too long, do not enter a trade. Your stop loss will be huge. 
you will also have a huge stop loss if the order block has a ridiculously abnormal depth. You want the order blocks to be shallow to get a better risk-reward ratio. There is no harm in taking profit when you have a one-to-one -one risk reward ratio. But if you do that, you must win at least 50% of trades to break even. That is not impossible, but sometimes difficult to accomplish. You should be able to be a profitable trader if only you have three successful trades out of 10. Besides, you may even close 80% of your position to lock in some handsome profits after the price crosses the 50% distance between the order blocks. Realized profit is your money. Unrealized profit is not your money. Do not increase your stop-loss amount to avoid being hit by the price action. Losing is a part of the trade. Every successful trader loses some trades. There is no shame in it. The market is not in our control. We are trying to understand it. We are trying to take advantage of its weaknesses. Sometimes we fail. That is okay. Here are two hypothetical trades to show how your stop losses and take profits might look like. And here is the watch list I promised you at the beginning of the video. Understand that this is only a sample and this may not work with you all the time. It is always best to make your own watch list based on the stocks you know. No strategy is perfect but you must give it time to get the best out of it. I promote a trading strategy on this channel which helps you make $1,500 per trade, risking only $300. The setup is simple. You may be interested in watching that video. I have added a link in the description below. Thank you very much for watching the entire video. Please give a thumbs up to this video and subscribe to my channel. I do a great deal of research before making a video, and I believe you will like my future videos too. Goodbye.